Hi traders and welcome to today's ACY Securities Forex Market Analysis. My name is Duncan Cooper and I will be your host. Today we will focus on the dollar index and the Australian dollar to the US dollar. So first we'll look at the news items coming out for the week and then we'll have a look at the charts. Hi traders, just want to quickly go through the news items that could affect the Aussie US dollar this week. So getting into Wednesday on the midnight, US CB consumer confidence. Into the morning of Wednesday, 10.30 a.m., we have the Aussie CPI QQ data coming out. Then moving into Thursday, 10.30 p.m. for the US, we have advanced GDP QQ. And then moving into Friday, we have at 10.30 p.m. on the US side, core PC price index. Now these times shown are my time, Queensland time. So just be aware of those items coming out. We do as well have today the budget from Australia. So that could potentially affect the Aussie as we get into the evening. Okay, so with all that in mind, let's get into the charts. All right, first up, let's have a quick look at the dollar index and its position. So I'll just squash this in or squash it out so we can see all the data. So we're still in an uptrend here on the monthly chart. We've moved above monthly resistance here at 111.31 and we are holding above that level. Slightly negative for the month, but long-term uptrend. You know, are we eventually moving up to this high up here at 121.02? So monthly trend is up, slightly negative for the month. Weekly trend, it's a little bit mixed. We have a higher bottom and maybe a lower top, but we are holding above 111.31. MACD is not crossing down, so maybe it's just holding to uptrends. As we get to the day chart, it's going to look a little bit consolidatory at the moment. So here's that consolidation at the moment. Holding above 111.31. Is it going to hold here? Is this just a lull in the trend before we continue up? All right, so yes, a little bit consolidatory at the moment. So keep your eye on the position of the dollar index if we have a significant break of day support, we may well see a move below 111.31, time will tell. All right, so keep your eye on that. All right, with the position of that in mind, let's head over to the Aussie dollar. All right, first up, we'll look at the monthly chart, it's just in a clear downtrend long term, move below this low area here. So this is in a downtrend, there's a minor lower top formed here and here through the last lower bottom, and we're coming down to test been testing this through this month 62.47 this monthly support area here so the question is can we continue to be moving down over the next few months to maybe test the 60.05 monthly support level all right so in a continued downtrend to the weekly chart all right traders on the weekly chart now what I'm seeing is a continued downtrend over the last Four weeks, we've had one week up here, then we move further down. At the moment, we're having a two week corrective phase. Is that all that this pair can do? Getting some support here at that month level support. I've also drawn in weekly support here at 62.84. So getting some support below the 6300 level at the moment. So the question in my mind is, how many weeks can we correct up? Are we just simply having maybe a two week correction before a further decline? All right. so. Let's drop down to the day chart and have a closer look. All right, traders, onto the day chart. I'm just putting my support and resistance. I've got support down here at 61.70 and resistance here at 63.47 up to 63.63. Now, on the day chart, I'm seeing a minor reversal. We are in an uptrend. MACD's crossed up, high bottom to higher top. Yesterday, we did have quite a aggressive reversal down from the 64 100 level and if I draw a fib in from that high to low that's the weekly range then we pretty much failed at the 6403 62% retracement level so is that a failure there for now a reversal down to retest 6169 day support and potentially move below that so a nice reversal yesterday can we Further decline now to retest 61.69. Let's just drop down to a four hour chart and have a closer look. All right, traders, on the four hour chart, what I'm seeing, we've got 
the area of daily resistance here 6363 and 63.47 I can see all these four hour tops okay there's one two three four so yesterday we tried to move above failed at the 62 percent retracement and then sold off nicely so what I'm watching for today is can price come up retest and fail this day chart resistance area hold and fail can I see an opportunity to sell on the 15 minute chart for a further decline and over the next few trading days or over the next week can we decline down to retest the 61.69 level and yes potentially move below that level so yesterday did we fail at 62% retracement level today can we come up and retest and fail at the daily resistance area for a further decline all right traders that's my analysis for today have a great trading week look forward to seeing you next time are you looking to improve your trading join duncan cooper senior market strategist and trading mentor at acy securities as he shares his knowledge on the global forex markets the upcoming webinars for this week 25th of october forex trading live market analysis during this webinar, Duncan will review 12 currency pairs, determine the key support and resistance trading levels for the week ahead, discuss his favorite risk to reward trading opportunities, and answer your trading questions. 26th of October, Price Imbalances, Introduction to Smart Money Concepts, Part 3. Learn the importance of price imbalances and how they form part of the underlying market structure across all time frames. Understanding price imbalances will help you identify the best entry and exit levels for your trades and improve your overall consistency as a trader. 27th of October, Live Forex Market Review, identifying high probability trading levels. Follow the link below for a full schedule and join for free.